My love is everlasting Ever, ever. Everlasting to everlasting ever, oh, ever. Girl, you make me upgrade my tactics oh, How long? Oh, How long are we going at this? How long are we going at this? Yeah Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of African boxing and please if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right and also go to the notification bell icon. So I'm going to a new, a new uh, exclusivity, you will definitely be notified. Let's get straight to right here with that station. So, um, Fabio Wadley. And Fraser Clark had a bloody war of a fight last night. It was so brutal to the point where when I saw Fabi Wardy bleed from the nose, I was like, oh shit, it's going down. I literally thought, no disrespect to Fraser Clark, I thought it wasn't about that life. I thought it's not about that life. But I have to give Fabio Wardley more props. Um, sadly, than Fraser Clark, even though both put up a fantastic fight, a fight that is going to be that is that should go into the history books of of UK boxing, of British boxing. Fact. However, Fabio Wardley come come from the come from the gutters. Basically, he doesn't have an amateur background. He started as a white collar fighter and then just d d doing it for fun for the love of boxing. So it's somebody that doesn't have a long amateur uh, GB background like Fraser Clark, for example. Fraser Clark is well, a well decorated amateur, um, was, a, was a well decorated amateur fighter in the UK. He sparred with the likes of George Joyce. Uh, not Tyson Fury, Dubois, um, not Joshua. Like this guy has been in GB squad for a very long time. In fact, he took him, like he turned pro very late, same way as Joe Joyce. But I've seen Fraser Clark stopped heavily. Like I've seen him give give up easily before uh, when he fought Joe Joyce. I think it was an amateur game, a uh, pro. A semi semi pro um fight um and Joe Joyce really, really Joe Joyce walked through everything for the club had going like through through Joe Joyce walked through everything and stopped him heavily. Uh, it was brutal the way Joe Joyce stopped him. They both went to war, but he couldn't take Joe Joyce's power. Joe Joyce took his, but he couldn't take Joe's power. I don't know if the Joe Joyce of now will still beat Fraser Clark. I think he will though. Because of course when you get you know stopped twice by Janjali, Janjali is a was a much more heavy puncher than uh Fraser Clark. He's Janjali punches harder uh, punches harder than Fury. Punches harder than than a lot of heavyweights outside Wilder. Because Wilder, you might say he's a skinny guy, but that power is still very much dangerous for anyone. No matter how how skinny he is, he lands that right hand, he will feel it. Fact. That's why Parker didn't allow Wilder to land it. I think Joshua as well is also very powerful, but people don't tend to respect Joshua's power on until they get in there. This Farah year was brutal. Um Kudos to both fighters. It was a blood bath, basically. Both going at it. Fraser Clark getting dropped in the fifth round by um Fabio Wardley. And Fraser Clark should have won this fight in a way. You look at both faces, he busted up the nose of uh, Fabio Wardley. But the thing is that there was a lot of low blows from coming from Fraser Clark. I wasn't I saw that I'm like, damn man, this guy's gonna get uh, points deducted, which he he got point deducted. You know, he had a point deduction as well due to low blows and stuff like that. But it was a fight. Listen, this is a fight that has to be. They have to run this fight back. Fabio Wardley, but Fabio Wardley was very disappointed. 
saying that they should have done better, you could have done better, stuff like that. It's understandable. The guy shouldn't be too harsh on himself. He's a warrior. Coming from where coming from where he comes from, you have to give Fabio Wardley all respect. I respect Fabio Wardley. I think he earned my respect when he when he beat David Adelaide in the manner he did it. Because this guy coming from where he came from, like you you should you shouldn't have been this level. Fraser Clark is well as highly experienced. He shouldn't even be this level, but he still competed with a guy that have been the GB squad for ages. A guy with solid amateur pedigree and never, bro. Fabio Wardley is a test is a is a testimony basically in David Richard. You have to give him give him that that respect. Uh, of course, you know you can see both of them right, um, hugging it out. You know they don't like each other. This a they don't like each other, but they have to hug it out. And I think there will be a rematch. I think Fabio Wardley, if there's a rematch, Fabio Wardley would probably add, uh, have more of adjustment to do. Would we'll, we'll have to adjust some things in order to like to to beat uh, Fraser Clark. But well, this was a, listen. This is a far right year. Fraser Clark can also win because he's the more experienced guy. You know, when you have such amateur pedigree, you should be you know be be winning easily. But Fabio Wardley. Give him credit, bro. Give him credit. It was a brutal war. You know, both were very, very eager to win. Even the it was, it was a war basically from the first round to the thir- to the to this to the twelfth round. From the first to the twelfth round, it was a war. Now both still undefeated. Of course, nobody won. Um, the judges ruled it uh, as a split draw. Okay, uh, it was a split decision. Um, so I think a rematch would be good. Um, Sky Sports commentary did what they wanted to do. You know, very good commentary. I really, really appreciate it. And it was like this is a this is this is something that that they can. I think the next time next time they should do it in a stadium. You know, not the Wembley Stadium. I don't know if they sell it out, but they should do it maybe at um, Shelfit. You know, somewhat like that. Just get it on, and uh, but I think Fraser Clark. You know, we have a lot of adjustment to do. Fabio Wardley needs time to heal. You know, he needs time to heal, bro. The injury, I have to give him credit, bro. Not easy. Still 17 and 0 with one draw. Um, and um, yeah, like 16 knockouts, still got that intact. Fabio Wally, on the other hand, you know, f- uh, uh, Frisco, on the other hand, you know, still, still, I don't know, with one draw, you know, basically. Uh, both the same thing, the eight, you know. Um, eight wins, you know, like six knockouts and stuff like that. But age is not on Fraser Clark's side. He started too because he turned pro late. Is a is not a not is not a side. So I think Fraser Clark's level is just European, European, you know, British European level. I don't think with his age he can he can get to that world level. I don't he's not beating Joe Joyce, for example. He doesn't beat Joe Joyce. Okay, if they fight again, he doesn't. Unless Joe Joyce Chin is not is not as good as he used to be, or Joe Joyce Chin is as finally just maybe he's lost that iron iron man um, you know mindset and you know, chin that he has. All, 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 uh, unless that happens to Joe Joyce, I don't see Fraser Clark beating Joe Joyce, for example. You know, Joe Joyce beat him before, and it was by stoppage. It was a war. Fraser Clark al- always loved war. He goes to war all the time. He loves war. But the thing is that there are people who are prepared for that. But let me not discredit anybody. I'm saying I enjoyed this fight. It was fantastic. Great for British boxing. 
both fighters deserve every credit they get every props kudos to them for you know putting in the the work and giving us one of the best um one of the best fights uh so far in 2024 so what do you guys make of this fight right here and uh a rematch has to happen who do you think wins nothing lost for both fighters they just have to come back be, the, be themselves back up you know you know um and then go again a day i th i believe they can do it so so yeah stay blessed guys